Hello. I'm going to do things just a little differently today than normal in that over the weekend, I realized I have been so blessed in that my subscriber total has more than doubled in the last six months. So it made me realize that there might be quite a few people out there that don't know my original story of when I started Weight Watchers. I mention it little bits and pieces in every video that I do, but I haven't gone into detail about it for several months. And so that's what I thought I would do today. I'm going to just go over probably just the first 15 months of my journey because you don't want to know all the whole eight years. I mean, we'd be here a couple of days if we talked about eight years. But I did want to go into just a little bit of detail of what I was when I started Weight Watchers and what I am today. I will end this video today with some more before and after pictures. You see, it's gotten harder and harder for me to find before pictures. I'm sure if you've ever struggled with your weight, the last thing you wanted to do is get in front of a camera when you felt uncomfortable with your body size. And I was that way for so many years that there's not a lot of pictures of me out there except during holidays or possibly on vacations. If you have more questions about what I do today, what I did yesterday, and what I did eight years ago, please feel free to leave a question down in the comments, or you can always email me with your questions. My email address is in the description box below. One last thing is, if this is the first time you've ever watched any of my videos, I hope that you might consider subscribing to see more of what I do. You see, each week I try to do a weigh-in. I weigh in on every Thursday morning, and I try to do a video on Thursday and either post it on Thursday or Friday. In the last few months, I've been doing some product reveals that I use that I feel like have helped me to lose or helped me to maintain the weight that I am right now. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. Now, I want to start my story. Uh, let's go back to January of 2014. Well, no, let's go back a few months earlier than that probably, let's say, October of 2013. You see, my husband, who I call Papa, had had both of his knees replaced during the year of 2013. I had had a lot of problems with my left ankle, foot, hip, just that whole left side of my body, and I'd been in a boot off and on during 2013. So we both realized that it was time for us to get serious about losing weight. Now we didn't know what to reach for. We'd tried so many different diets because you see, I've been overweight since I was, that I know of since I was 12 years old. I actually think that I was overweight sometime around my ninth or 10th birthday, but I really was by the time I was 12. My mother helped me get quite a few pounds off the summer before I started the eighth grade. And so I was fortunate enough that during high school, or for the most part of high school, I was in a healthy weight range. I got a lot more exercise because I was in the marching band, and I also had a boyfriend. It was Papa. And so I feel like that that gave me incentive to keep my weight under control. Well, not too long after we married and we had children, the pounds really began to pack on. 
and I would go through so many different diets over the last 40 years that I really didn't know what I needed to do in 2013. So you know what I did? I prayed about it. I asked God to lead me to a weight loss program that would not just work short term, but I could stay with it for the rest of my life. And within those next two to three months, I began to see all of these commercials. I met some people that had had great success on Weight Watchers. And I just felt like after two or three months that that's what God was leading me to. I'd never been a member of Weight Watchers. My daughter had and had had some success, but that was my only experience with Weight Watchers. So, January the 9th, 2014, I signed up for Weight Watchers. Now, I knew that Papa would not go to meetings, so we joined online only. We don't go to meetings. We do get a lot of information. We have the app. I'm still able to do everything that everybody else does, except I just don't go to the meetings and I don't have the option to have lifetime status. But that's okay. I'm fine with that. The day I started Weight Watchers, I weighed in at 213 pounds. Now, I don't even think that was the highest weight that I had reached over my adult life. There are a few pictures of me from three years earlier where I look a lot bigger than I did on the day that I started Weight Watchers. So I think at one point, I probably was close to 220 pounds. But the day that I joined Weight Watchers, I weighed 213. So that's the weight I count. I got what I believe was a mindset that gave me a determination that I'd never had before with all these other diet plans that I had been on. Many were fad diets, some were not. Some was calorie counters, which I still believe is the closest thing to Weight Watchers. I mean, I do believe that, that, that both of those you can be truly successful at. But for me, Weight Watchers was the answer. You see, the very first week that I was on Weight Watchers, I began to track on my cell phone. That was a wonderful aspect of Weight Watchers that I didn't even realize was gonna be part of Weight Watchers, is that I all I had to do is try to pick healthy options, healthy alternatives to what I had been eating and put it on my cell phone. Track it, as it were. And I found out very quickly that a lot of the foods that I had been eating were very heavily pointed. I was on something that you call Points Plus. That was the program that they had back in 2014. I had 26 points a day. And after my first week, I lost six and a half pounds. I know that wasn't all weight loss. Some of it was water loss. Some of it was because I was probably eating a lot less salt. But it gave me just enough incentive to carry me through that whole first month. And after the first month on Weight Watchers, I had lost over 10 pounds. Now, before I started Weight Watchers, I was barely being able to get around. I'd always loved to walk, but I wasn't able to do it anymore. At 213 pounds, I could barely walk up the steps. But after I lost that 10 pounds, I began to feel a little better. And within three months, I had lost over 25 pounds to where in the spring, probably the last of March, the first of April, I began to walk again. Now, not like I had when I was in my 30s. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention I was 58 years old 
when I started Weight Watchers in 2014. No, I wasn't young anymore, but sometimes I think being the age that I was, I was more determined than ever to succeed. I knew I didn't have a lot of years left and I sure didn't want to stay the same size I was. Now, in April, like I said, I began to get a little bit of exercise just because I felt better, because I loved to walk, the weather was good, and so as the summer progressed, I continued to lose weight. Now, my initial goal was to get down to 130 seven pounds. That's a 76 pound loss from 213. You see, I wanted to lose over 75 pounds. So 76 is one pound more than 75. And during those months that I was on Weight Watchers, I did gain weight one week. I know you're saying one week, but that, that's it. Now, I stayed the same a couple of weeks, but as for a gain, I only had a gain one week. And I did have weekly points, but I rarely, and I, I must be emphatic about this, I rarely used my weekly points. And the week that I did gain weight, I used every one of my weekly points, probably a couple of extra, and that was okay. I was upset about it because I'd been used to losing somewhere in the neighborhood of between one and two pounds a week. And so when I didn't, when I actually had a gain, I thought, oh no, what am I gonna do next week? But luckily for me, I buckled back down and this was uh, the middle of July that I gained a little bit of weight. And by October the 2nd, when I weighed in on that Thursday, I had got down below that 137 pounds. I think that week I weighed 135 and a half, I think. So, I was under my goal weight on October the 2nd of 2014. Now, Papa had joined Weight Watchers a little bit after I did on January the 13th. He had a little bit more weight to lose when I got to my original goal of 137 pounds. So I decided to stay in weight loss mode until he was ready to go into maintenance. So what we did is during the holidays and January, we continued to lose weight. And by February of 2015, he had gotten down to the weight he wanted to be. I believe he weighed right at 180 pounds. And he said, okay, I'm ready to go on maintenance. And by the time February, rolled around, I had lost another 12 to 14 pounds. I think I weighed 123 pounds when I finally said, okay, I'm ready to go into maintenance. And I believe with all my heart, it was because I made that commitment. I tracked constantly. I lowered my portion sizes. And I, I just knew that I was gonna succeed this time. That was seven years ago in February when I finally went on maintenance. And last Thursday, when I weighed in, I weighed 118 pounds. So that means that over seven years, I've been able to keep that weight off. Now, my weight has fluctuated. If you watch this channel much, you know the other times I've had to lose a little bit of weight, but I have never come close to even being overweight anymore. And I give all the credit to two things, Weight Watchers and my prayer life. 
You see, I'm a Christian, so I believe in prayer. I believe in meditation. I believe in asking God to help me get through each week. Now, I'm not saying that I didn't pray before I got on Weight Watchers. I did. I prayed several times for the Lord to help me lose weight, but I didn't have all of the tools to be able to do it until I found Weight Watchers. I'm not going to go over all the other years where I've been on Weight Watchers. If you want to get that information, just go back and watch some of my other videos. But I did want to at least give you a idea of what I did those first 15 months while I was on Weight Watchers. If I can do it, anybody can. I was really bad to binge. I still struggle with that sometimes. But instead of binging on Oreo cookies, I have a tendency to binge on pretzels or like I did last week, saltine crackers. Don't ask me why, but that's what I did last week. But you can still be successful if you just buckle down. If when you have those bad weeks, you just back up and you say, okay, how, did, how was I successful the last time I was? And then you can do it. And the main way to be successful is by tracking. It may sound so simplistic, but it's what's helped me. And after all these years, I still track. I think if I am sitting here 10 years from now doing another YouTube video, I'll still be tracking. At least I hope I will be. My aim for this channel is to help others who are struggling. That's what made me start this channel back in January of 2019. I've got three aims that I want to share with you right now. I want to encourage people. I want to give information to people. And the way that I give information is by sharing my experience. So with encouragement, information, and experience, I hope you too can say the next time you start a YouTube channel, I've lost this amount of weight, and I owe it all to Weight Watchers. Remember, the before and after comes after this, but I'll end the vlog part of this video by saying, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>